Okay. All right, and we're on. Okay. We're back. Hey, we're don't do that. Don't in do the that. Studio. That's bad. Bad. Being Sit. bad from Sit. the get go. Yeah, he's being a brat. He's not getting attention. All right, here we go. We got. It's like he knows Kanye is on the TV. You know what I mean? Dude, <laughs> he, he he likes Kanye. He knows when it's time to be bad. Kanye is what he calls. I heard Kanye's his back. best friend. Um, Kanye's been black, dude. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> oh, no, about. No, back. Oh, back. <laughs> Like, oh, I heard Kanye's black. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, who told you that? <laughs> dude, if Kanye act- if Kanye was white and he acted the way he did, would more people <laughs> like him or less people like him? That's the real question. He'd be he'd be a leader of the KKK or something if he was fucking if he was white. Hmm. Or he would be he'd definitely be in office somewhere. <laughs> no, I think uh, no, I think wh- when like white people act like outlandish like Kanye does, they just get looked at as like weirdos, you know? Like I don't even I can't even think of like a white guy that comes near Kanye. Okay, no no no, I'll give you an example of why he'll be okay. Mel Gibson. Has no, a no, no, full I'm not even talking breakdown. about Jew shit. I'm not even talking no, no, about no, no, Jew no, no, shit. Right, right, but still has a full meltdown and it goes off and says some well, maybe a little something something that you shouldn't have said and he's fine. You know what I'm saying? He's making movies about Jesus and shit. He's chilling. Yeah, but I'm not even talking about Jew shit. I'm talking about like just Kanye's crazy like abstractness like there's not like a white guy that does that like pops off like Kanye and well, every, yeah white guy's never gonna be as cool as Kanye yeah but, <laughs> but like they try to but they just come out being like weird like the okay here's here okay I just thought of it the only white guy that's anywhere like that's similar to Kanye in it, like not similar but like the same kind of uh realm oh I might sneeze <laughs> is um what's his fucking name Jared Leto Jared Leto yeah do you know Jared Leto the guy the guy that played the Dallas Buyers Club and all that stuff yeah I think he was in that the movie. new Joker and shit yeah he was in the Joker that guy yep but he because gives off more like uh, more he's like, like a more school shooter vibe more like guess my pronoun vibe he gives well me, he's you know also I mean? fucking <laughs> yeah but but the thing is like that dude, that dude's a lead singer in a band too. You know that? Oh, really? Yeah, Thirty Second to Mars, or I think something it's called. For real? It's like a rock. It's like a like a not rock. I think it's more like <laughs> like punk metal or something. I'm uh, so is Johnny Depp, but nobody knows that. You know really? what I mean? Because they're ass, bro. Because they suck. Because if musicians suck, imagine how much actors suck at fucking music. You Wait, know you say I mean? musicians suck at music? Well, so not you know some musicians suck. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to be a good musician. It's hard to be a good rapper. It's hard to be a good comedian. It's easy to be a good rapper. You just, you just be Kanye. Nah, bro. It's definitely not. It's easy to get hype and shit. Like for example, a couple. I remember like two years ago or something. We seen this bitch Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Right. This this chick, who I didn't even know she was black back then because she went viral over a video where she's peeing on a guy Whoa, on what? stage. I had no clue about that. Yeah, and uh Girls pee? <laughs> and poo. And shit? Yeah, bro, it's fucking disgusting. Disgusting. It's gross. I've never seen a girl in my uh, life. But um uh, but yeah, bro, you know, that's what squirting is kinda. Girls squirting pee. is peeing? Kinda. Hmm. So they say. So they say. I'm not a doctor, but Yeah, but like checks out. Mm, it does check out. Like what else could it be if oh, it's not? But anyways, I was saying about ice spice. <laughs> Yeah, what were you saying about Ice Spice? Yeah, she got a lot of traction because she went viral for peeing over so- on some dude. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's Do all it listen- takes to be a rapper nowadays? You just gotta pee on a dude? Is no, that why R. Kelly made You it? can make it in anything based on hype, on anything. But it doesn't mean you're good. You know what mm, I mean? Right. It doesn't mean you're good. It doesn't mean that... Like, it's just so far a few of the good ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know who I thought you were gonna say when you said weird white guy? I thought you were gonna say Eminem. That's why I was throwing up the M. <laughs> Yeah, but Eminem, like, he's, like, not as, like, abstract as Kanye, I feel like. Kanye, like, Eminem has just made rap music the whole fucking time, you know? What do you mean? Like, Eminem just sounds, every album sounds, like, I mean, I guess not. Like, I'm an Eminem fan for sure, but, like, he just goes, like, hippity hop blah in every, <laughs> uh, in, in every <laughs> album. <laughs> but then Kanye, he's, like... He, every album has a different sound. Mm, uh-huh. 
You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. But I love like, man, I'm in my Kanye era. You know? You right now? Yeah. In your abstract era? I'm in my. I'm in my. Dude, but Kanye is so different though. He's just so fucking creative. Yeah, well, bro, he's fucking. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah, on the like, spectrum, dog. He's a lot of like a lot of other musicians he's and got special talents. stuff like lack like creativity that he has. I, yeah, he's just different, you know. But that's why that's why I was comparing Eminem because Eminem's not the white guy that you kind of like. He's not your typical geeky nerdy white guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's different. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Kanye's not your typical black guy. He's fucking totally different. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? And their music is totally different, and and that's why it's reached like uh, such high levels. You know, totally. it's, it's topped everybody else's music because it's so fucking different. Because the way these guys stink and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, I like they're actually good. They deserve the hype they get. Right. Know? Totally. Totally. Versus like, and like you know yeah, what I mean? like, and Kanye has been around since like two thousand three or four. Same with Eminem, like ninety nine. Yeah, like they've been around for a minute, you know. And they stayed weird, bro. And they stayed like true. And you know? see, now weird is cool. People want to be weird, like Billie Eilish, and they, you know what I mean. They want to be weird or goth or fucking just have a weird vibe to them and Michi. But it's fucking. It's, it's like the hipsters was a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone's fucking. We're over it. You know what I'm saying? These yeah, guys were weird before it was cool. Everyone has different pronouns. <laughs> Everyone has some fucking pronoun bullshit. And I'm just like, hey, dude. You're a dude. <laughs> I just call everyone dude. Bro, I always say to... Uh, I'll be like, good night, guys. Like, I don't give a fuck. If there's a girl in the group, I just... I said, guys. Deal yeah. with it. Deal with it. <laughs> deal with it. Until you show me your vagina, you're a dude. <laughs> if I ain't fucked you, you're a dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. If I haven't seen you your tits... dude treatment. My, uh, my girl's gonna like that I said that She's gonna be like Yeah I don't <laughs> She's not gonna like it? She's gonna like that I said Oh she's gonna like it Like yeah I don't She better like it She better think I'm funny She's gonna Fucking like it Um But yeah What like uh What do you think about like Jay Z though? Well we've been over Jay Z I don't really know his You don't know Jay Z? His art remember? <laughs> his, his art? Yeah, his art, his music, I don't really know it, you know what I mean? Oh, I thought you meant, like, artistic. Imagine, he also had did art. It would be ass. It would be ass, just like people that venture off into other things. You know why I had to quit music, bro? Because I knew I was never going to make it. I had to go into something else. That's why I found comedy, bro. I'm realistic, you know what I'm saying? Realistic expectations. Yeah, you all people got to have self-awareness and shit. Yeah, know? so many motherfuckers lack that. Yeah. And that's a fact. You I hate dissing on people, but people don't know, like, Listen, dude, I know, like, what kind of guy I look like through other people's eyes most of the time. <laughs> and that's called, what are we just talking about? Self-awareness. Self-awareness. Yeah, there's another word. Um, Realistic. For looking at yourself. Woke. Introspection. In- introspective, yeah. Introspective. Yeah. Introspection. Yeah, y'all fucking like that. Yeah. But not our listeners, though. Not our listeners. No, everyone the that listens to this podcast people is that you guys interact with. geniuses. They're, like, PhD students, probably. Bro, yeah, only fucking... Uh, <sighs> doctors of science remember how you're talking about that then you have yeah you can be a doctor, be a doctor of, of a doctor of doctors you can be like a, a doctor of music did you know that stupid bro like you can just study music for 12 years and say oh and still I'm a be doctor. broke <laughs> and still be broke <laughs> no and then but do you know about colleges though like they end up like if you okay let's say you get your four-year degree and then you are in a bunch of debt they'll uh, but you want to be a professor like you can work at the school like at the college and then they'll pay your loan off oh yeah right? with your work and yeah shit? With, with working there but well, isn't that like slavery modern day slavery <laughs> that's modern just day slavery like slavery. <laughs> 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 like not english <laughs> modern day slavery Anyways, what are we talking about? We're 10 minutes into this episode and we haven't talked about anything. What are we talking about? Colleges? Bro, Mm. listen. College is a scam. Yeah, everyone knows that. Everybody knows that. If there's ever been a pyramid scheme, it's college, bro. Look, at you join the college and we'll tell your friends about the college and we'll fucking give you a discount at the local Chick-fil-A. And you know what? Um, (laughs) The only thing college is good for is getting pussy if you've never had pussy before in like high school and drinking. 
Like, if, yeah, if you, but you know where else you, you can get pussy? If you pussy? never got pussy in college or in high school, then you should go to college. But you know where else you can get pussy? Where? <laughs> Anywhere, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere. Unless you fucking live in... Where, where, where are there no girls? Montana. Montana? Yeah. Where'd you say? Wisconsin? That's, that's where I was born. South Fours. No, where'd you say that there was all fours? All Wyoming. Fours? Wyoming? Yeah. Right? A lot of states probably have all fours if you think about it. There's probably more fours than not. Listen, if you can't get pussy, get a four. Boom. If you can't get pussy, fuck the floor. <laughs> Look, yeah, I just want to say this. If you have colored hair, you're a four. And I don't mean like just like you dyed it red or blonde or anything. I mean if you if if it's any color that's not if it's one a of the, na- unnatural. If it's hair any color, color that Takashi sixty nine has <laughs> So any color You're on the rainbow, four, and you know it, and that's why you know what I'm saying. You had to do that shit. You know, Takashi's only like four foot. Yeah, I believe it. But that's why. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. That's why these bitches do that to to stand out. You know what I'm saying? Once yeah. again, to be weird, to be weird is cool. I'm yeah. gonna dye my hair yeah. a weird color because I got no personality. It's to be edgy. Yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah. It's and like, then they're like, um, dude, everyone's the same nowadays. <laughs> Every woman is the same nowadays. <laughs> you ever think about that? How so, bro? Explain. There's so. like, there's like doing nails or doing lashes, and they or being they, nurses or yeah or being nurses or wanting to be nurses at or, least or um <laughs> um or uh, or teachers. They need to invent a new type of woman. A new type of woman. Yeah. Half man, half woman. <laughs> 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 Anyways, I uh, think that's we got we got to get off this topic yeah, before we get it gets out of, wild. Out of this one, because um, you don't want me going. In. Bro, is that thing on because of the flash? Yeah, it's on. yeah the flash. Okay. Yep. The flash. I got to turn the flash on when I restarted the video. Fuck the flash, bro. Dude, what about that flash movie coming out? But why did I tell you? Did we ever talk about this? I think we might have touched on it. But why is it all twink, bro? Why are all the heroes twinks? I'm so tired of the twinks, bro. Bro, but then they made. Dwayne the Rock Johnson are a superhero and it fucking sucks. Yeah, but that's because he got Dwayne. The that's because he's a. That's because he sucks, dude. He just Yo, sucks. Fuck the bro, Rock. The Rock is the. You know when when uh, Theo Vaughn. I was telling my girl this the other day. I said Theo Vaughn once said Ke- Keanu one face Reeves because Keanu Reeves only has one face. He's like Keanu always looks confused. Yeah. Right. And I, and I told my girl I was like that was the best uh, phrase by Theo and here's mine. Dwayne Johnson, Always looks Dwayne angry. One Face Johnson, yeah. he goes. This is what Black Adam is here. I'll save you from going to watch Black Adam. It's just this. <laughs> Literally, bro. Like, bro, that's uh, it. you're right though. You're so right. You know what I'm saying, like. Bro, one dude, face Johnson. Dude, if I was ever an actor, I've had I would have so much range as an actor. You'd have so many faces. I'd have now. so many faces. I'd be the Jim Carrey of faces, bro. I was doing this with my girl in the bathroom last night. I was just pretending to be an actor. <laughs> I was like, I was like, hey, how are you? Oh, really? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. We we've never met, dude. See, audition. You put me playing. in a role. Mm. Were you guys role playing in the bathroom like you just? No, no, no. I was just saying that to myself in the mirror, and oh. she was watching me. I thought this is what I thought you were telling me that you were role playing, like you were going into like a gender neutral bathroom. And you're like, oh hey, no, I've never met you before. We look familiar. We should yeah. go out sometime. The, the bathroom in my apartment is gender neutral. <laughs> yeah, the gender neutral bathroom is a good place to to hook up. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's probably true. It's probably not not true. You know what I mean? Honestly, like since gender neutral bathrooms are more a thing, do you think more like teens and preteens are like sneaking away, going to the mall? You know, mm. and then they're going to the gender neutral neutral bathroom yeah. in the mall and sucking. The gender neutral bathroom is the new handicap sucking bathroom. Sucking fucking, yeah. Because back in the day, that's what you would do. You would go right. to the, or the family or the restroom. family restroom. You go to the family restroom and fuck. Well, you know but what it's I'm ironic saying? because you'd make a family in the family restroom. <laughs> <sighs> Only if you're an idiot. Yeah, bro, pull out game strong. Bro. No, but you'd you give her a family me? with that sperm. She gets a family. <laughs> you'd, you'd put you'd you'd put the you'd put your kids on her on her butt or something okay yeah not you, in her you, butt you give her the family <laughs> yeah anyways uh, anyways what are we talking about <laughs> you're talking about gender neutral bathrooms yeah how many people have found love at a gender neutral bathroom comment down below please i want to i want to hear i want to hear your story and you know love is out there guys don't give up yeah you know what i think uh like finding your gender is like nowadays what is it it's like 
playing a slot machine mm. at a casino. You're like, <laughs> and it's like, ding, 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 and then it lines up perfectly. Seven, 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 jackpot. You're a straight male. <laughs> but if it's like, ding, 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 seven, heart, diamond, dildo, dildo, <laughs> your chance. Congratulations. <laughs> and then you get birthed. You get birth? Yeah, that's that's God up in heaven. Oh, He's playing okay. the c- slot machine. Mm, okay, I see. And God loves flags. I see it now. <laughs> I see it now. Well, we're going to have to cut that. Ah, <laughs> fuck. I don't know. We'll watch it back. You know, uh, uh, what did they say? Uh, 2020 vision? Retrospection? What? I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Review is hindsight, hindsight is 2020. 2020? Jesus yeah. Christ. You know, we did we did good, but yeah, it's got it's got its effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. What were you gonna say, bro? I don't know. I was gonna say I hate I hate the dirty people everywhere. Everywhere I go, I see dirty people. I see dirty people. I'm like, hey, stop being dirty. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's a choice you could be making. It's it's a choice you make on the daily. Just be. Uh, you don't even have to put effort in looking beautiful or or handsome. Just don't be dirty, and you're already doing the most. Yeah, if you're not dirty, like if you're upkept, upkept is that the word? Um, you're like a four. You know what I mean? Like automatically. Yeah. You know, if you cut your nails, gel your hair, brush your teeth, uh, do some push-ups, stick a finger in your ass every once in a while, you you can at least be a five. I think can every any, everyone be a five? I think can everyone anyone can be, be a five? five. Everyone can be a five. Yep, I believe that. You that's that what we there? stand. That's what we stand for. If you've we never believe, had your pussy in your life, you're gonna be a five. Yeah, everyone can be a five, and that means you can have a five. So, I have, you know what I have? A five incher. <laughs> five incher. <laughs> Ooh, five dollar foot long, baby. Ooh, I remember when I went uh like in middle school I went on a field trip with the, my Christian school and you know they separate you everyone they give you to a mom right one mom's gonna take care of a group one mm-hmm. dad's gonna take care of a group whatever they gave me, they sent us to our friend's mom and we got the hot mom we're like yeah we got the hot mom our friend's like and then our friend was cool about it he'd be like yeah. y'all wanna fuck my mom I bet y'all wanna. and we'd be like actually we kinda don't <laughs> yeah, dude we'd be like, like none of us can nut yet but we actually kinda wanna fuck my mom dude that guy's like a pimp for his mom yeah it was crazy we <laughs> sixth grade damn <laughs> and then uh, we went to the fair and his mom Bought it, her boyfriend a shirt that said five dollar foot long with an arrow to point it to his dick. What the fuck? Yeah, and she was like, Look for my boyfriend, I'm gonna buy it. And she's like, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, That's Oh, so she's ghetto. a freak. I was like, She's a freak, dog. <laughs> I was like, Yo, what, what are we doing after the field trip? Where are we going? We're Mrs. going to Denny's. Did she shut off? No, no, we're all good. good. Danny's, bro. No, no, no. Somewhere with a gender neutral bathroom, please. Yeah, Denny's is going to be the last place with a gender neutral bathroom. <laughs> they can't afford Dude, it, Dude, Denny's is stuck in 1940s. <laughs> they still make they still make colored people sit on the other side of the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I told you Denny's was Denny's on the south side caught on fire. That shit did They fucking shut down yeah, for like two years. On, who do you think set her on fire? <laughs> Someone was mad that they were getting racially profiled. <laughs> and I would be too. Oh, I thought they were mad that there wasn't a gender neutral bathroom. <laughs> yeah, well, that too. But what? is that a lot to ask? Isn't for? that kind of weird though? Well, think about this: we went from colored bathrooms because that's segre- like segregation bad. Mm-hmm. Colored bathrooms was a result of that. Mm-hmm. Bad. Bad. Mucho ba- and then, mucho we, and then we go. We just created segregation. If you think about it, like 2023 segregation, we just created another division to make someone feel more comfortable with a gender neutral bathroom. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it in my mind's eye. Actually, I don't know what I just <laughs> said. Actually, that makes absolutely no sense. I just had to agree with I you. Should've, I should have came with more cold hard facts. I shouldn't agree with you. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> I, should've. I don't actually don't know what I just said. Do you know what I just said? I think that, you know, I ha- actually haven't seen a gender neutral bathroom. Have you? I haven't been in one. <laughs> I haven't seen one. I haven't been in one. I'm still to find love. <laughs> <laughs> Come and come and meet me in the bathroom stalls, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm flexing. That's where I'm picking up chicks from. No, from from where? 
<laughs> the bathroom? The gender neutral bathroom, bro. It yeah. just sounds like, you know what I'm saying? Like a new place where people haven't explored the dating scene. Yeah, dude, they should make a dating app called the gender neutral Ooh, bathroom. Ooh, GND? No, GNB. GNB. Yeah. GNB. Yeah. Bro, that sounds like almost like a news channel. GNB. We Welcome make- back to GNB. We're coming to you live from the gender neutral bathroom. <laughs> It's me, Tyler B., your uh, on-site reporter. What do we have here? We have uh, um, we have Roberta, who is a uh, biological male, but um, you know her. She's coming a little uh, freaky today. Was Roberto, but, you know, vowels, Was Roberto, vowels, but uh, found, found what we say, God. Now back to you, Charles. <laughs> Charles. Charles. Wasn't Jeez. that good, bro? That was not bad. Dude, that, dude I could be an actor. Oh, I think you say journalist. I could be a journalist. Bro, fucking journalists are fucking the scum of the earth, aren't they? <laughs> like, actual journalists? Yeah. Like, well, there's good journalists and there's bad journalists. Is there? And, and ev- like, everything. I think that they're just... You know what I'm saying? You just make your money off drama. Off, you just make... You just make your living off other people. You just don't even... Yeah. You don't do anything for yourself. You just... Let you other people have a badass life. Yeah. yeah, you wait for other people to do things and then you comment on it yeah. or whatever. Right, right, right. Like, if you're like a TMZ reporter, like, how do you live with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> look at TMZ, at least they accept that they're like the scummy ones, you know? Like, yeah, that's at true. At least they accept it versus the other ones, they like pretend, oh, hello, are you GMB tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the fucking news channel. I was just thinking about that. How journalists are like the scum of the earth, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like how I was telling you about Vice News yeah, and all that yeah. shit that's going down. Do your do your does your mom still watch the news? My Never? mom doesn't watch the news yeah. actually. I and I respect her for it. You know. Yeah, that's good. Bro, and then when other people tell her about the news, she's like, "What the fuck? The news? Yeah. Like why bro, are you watching? There's so the many news? motherfuckers that watch the news nowadays. Like old older people. Like I don't think really." <laughs> People in their younger years watch the news, but yeah. like it's all the people that actually care about politics watch the news. Yeah, but it's just poison. Yeah, it's just poison. But the only reason to watch the news is to see what they're trying to manipulate, what they're trying to get you to think. Yeah, but it, you know they're I mean? literally like just like that's all it is. It's all just manipulation, propaganda. Yeah, like bro. did you see? Um, I think I saw a clip of it on Joe Rogan, but um, I don't know when it was, but. All of these newscasters in diff- all a whole bunch of different cities were saying the same exact yeah, thing. Yeah, they started all syncing up and Isn't saying that, crazy? that shit's scary, huh? But yeah, that's how you know it's just it's propaganda, bro. I mean, everyone's done it, bro. Everyone's done it. Like all the countries would do it. You know what I'm saying? Like the Russia did it years ago with yeah. Stalin, and all these people did it years ago, bro. And it's just that we think that because we're technically free and shit that there's none none of that shit here but there is and shit you know what i'm saying that's why browning the downy bro this is all positive shit bro there's no agenda here bro right here we're gender neutral bro dude, we're gender no, the neutral. bathroom here is gender neutral we're dude, not we're yeah. not gender neutral, dude. The bathroom is gender neutral. <laughs> no i am gender neutral <laughs> he is now yeah i i've always i always have been dude you know what how you know what i do when i put my car i get in my car i put it in neutral <laughs> Because it's gender neutral. You only drive in neutral? I only drive in neutral. And that's how devoted I am to create a peaceful and positive planet. Yeah, you gotta go all in, people. What have you done? Yeah, what have you done? (laughs) I bet you haven't driven in neutral. Yeah. I used to drive in neutral all the time when I had a little Honda that was fucking. Yeah, six shifts? Mm -mm. You had a six shift? Yeah. Dude, my first two cars were six shifts. Hell yeah. Yeah, my first two cars as well, but one of them only lasted 13 days, bro. It was oh, not fuck. even two weeks, so it not doesn't really count weeks. as a first car. I don't, nah, I don't know. So then I guess the little Honda was the first car, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, I want a new six-shift car, though. They're so fun to drive. They are, bro. I was okay, like trying to see if anything popped up when I was looking yeah. for a car, but nah, I ended up just getting the same thing because yeah. I, I couldn't really find anything out there. And it's good. It's better, actually. You know why? Because it takes more focus to drive, so then you're not on your phone. Yeah, for sure. Like they should just they you should can't be on your phone. Yeah, they you should make choice. more cars that are only stick shift. Like for teens. Mm-hmm. They're making it easier to be on your phone. By making it drivable like with the Teslas and everything. Yeah. You're making it easier for me to be on my phone. Yeah, or having like detectors that like when the car stops in front of you, the your car oh, yeah. automatically stops. Yeah, when you look down on your cuz my rental had that where yeah. you would look you would just be on it your phone boop, and then boop, it'd be like, "Oh, your car's leaving in front of you." You'd be like, "All right, thanks." Yeah. Thanks, G. Oh, it has that. 
the oh like like when you're at a red light yeah and then when that car goes it yeah says, when the car in front of you starts moving it tells you the car in front oh, of you is leaving wow. and then you fucking look up and shit you're like oh see that's cool but if you look at a red light most people look down at their oh phone. totally if you look at the people next to you you know before they used to be picking their boogers no one picks their nose anymore now they just fucking they're on their yeah, phone right What's What's your that? fucking booger ass motherfucker? Booger, booger ass heavy motherfucker. Your booger munching boy. <laughs> oh, your shit. little burger, burger, no, little booger munching <laughs> bitch. Booger munch. Did you ever eat your boogers? Hell no. Yeah, me either. Bro. I used if to you beat did up that shit, you're fucking weird, boogers. bro. Dude, in kindergarten, if someone ate their boogers, I'd hit them in the <laughs> balls. You just bully them if, yeah. fucking, <laughs> if they were dumb. And then I'd be like, teacher, I'm going to the gender neutral bathroom. <laughs> But I can't wipe my ass. <laughs> Why do I feel like a gender neutral bathroom? Like, where is it? Like, at The Rock? You know how at The Rock, the bathroom has... It, it's like an old western. It's like a... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's how I feel like a gender neutral bathroom would be. Like, what do you call those doors? Swing doors? Swing doors? Yeah. Yeah. Like saloon doors. Saloon doors, yeah. That's how I feel like a gender neutral bathroom Swing state. should be. Yeah. What do you think? Ah. <laughs> uh, mm. You know what? I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be. I would love to live in a gender neutral city. Gender neutral city? Yeah. Bro, they'd all be fours. Uh, yeah, that's good. And then I'll pop out a solid six. <laughs> and I'll be their fucking governor. Oh, uh, that's true, bro. You know what's crazy? Asking people to rate themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because once again, you can see how much self awareness. Yeah. Is. Oh, that's true. You know, that's a good test. First but, of all, if they even answer and how fast they answer, it tells you a lot about oh, them. Oh, totally. You know what I mean? like, you but is to- a little bit of delusion a good thing, though? Like, is self-awareness and delusion are the, on the opposite spectrums. Would you agree? Mm-hmm. But do wait, you wait, think, self- wait, what? Like, delusion and self-awareness. Right, yeah. yeah. Are, like, the two opposite sides. Opposite. Yeah, yeah. Do you think there's a... This, and like, realism, it's like, maybe. Maybe realism. Delusion and realism. Yeah. Yeah, right. that's true. And then self-awareness is... <laughs> Helps like, you do you the think meter. there's like a little bit of a scale, like where this is the scale? The scale is belief, bro. It's not delusion; it's belief. Right? Is you have to believe in yourself that uh, you know what I'm saying. I've read a lot of motivational books yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's I belief. That's what it is because everything comes from a belief, and uh, and yeah, you fucking. But what about like in you terms have to of in yourself to like have the true. balls to go for things and shit? Right, you know but what, what about like the delusion of like okay. I'm not saying this is my case, but like, like, the delusion of like, um, oh, I'm a I'm a comedian, I'm a freaking podcaster, like, like. Well, what are you calling me out right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm saying like, I'm saying like just pre- I'm good, but just pretending, not pretending, but like just giving yourself credit. I don't know what I'm saying. What the fuck. <laughs> Ah, like, fuck. like giving yourself too much credit, I guess, or something. Mm. <coughs> nah, but then, bro. is it a good thing because then you strive to like fill those shoes of like, okay, well, if I'm a comedian, I have to put in the writing <coughs> work today, and I have to go to the mic today. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where like I'm not, I'm not someone who does comedy. I'm a comedian. Yeah, but like I think that that's what it is because like we know the people that. Here, here's what separ- I've heard this one time and uh, also in a book that the what separates the amateur and the pro is that the amateur always fucking the amateur is always gonna over uh, over identify with the thing. So I remember when I thought in my mind that I wanted to be a jujitsu guy, that was my identity. It was like, oh, that was my whole ass mm-hmm. identity, and and then but I knew deep down that I didn't want to put in that work. Versus in comedy, once I realized I could do that shit, so therefore I had the belief in, in myself to do it and that I could be funny, I was like, all right, I'm willing to put in the work to do this. So it's belief and re- realism, self-awareness, helps you get to hard work and shit, you know what I'm right. saying? But if you don't, I, I forgot what my point was. I don't know. Oh, but, no, but the but amateur, the like amateur the identifies with the thing too much. So, like, we all know the people uh, that go to one mic a fucking month, but they post a million stories about that one mic. True. Because they over-identify with the identity of being whatever they are oh, they wanna, versus they wanna, the work yeah, that they put in, you they, know what I mean? They want other people to look at them and say, oh, he looks like he's being a comedian. Exactly, yes. Right, okay, that, no, no, that makes sense, but... That's how I you can tell, I think, who's being, like, real and who 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 really wants it and who's just, like, 
Just, just telling yeah. themselves yeah. kind of that. No, but I was kind of, I was it, like trying to get across like if you, if you just start, if you want to do comedy and, um, and you want to create like a routine, like habits that, you know, writing habits and going out to the mic habits and, mm-hmm. and, and re- writing jokes and listening to your set habits, like all the stuff that, all the things that make you a comedian. You don't want to, like, you don't want to just, like, do it once and then say, oh, I'm a comedian. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you, like, the process of doing it over and over, of going, writing jokes, rewriting your jokes, listening to your jokes, blah, 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 going every week, every day, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's, that's how you fulfill your, like, your identity of, of I am a comedian. You know, does that make sense? Or am I just spinning bullshit? Where it's like... I get what you mean. That's kind of like how you... You're able to say that? Oh, I'm a... That's yeah, kind of how you like, earn the, like, the, the yeah, right to like say that, I guess. it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like, if you mm. do the thing, then you're the thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, I, yeah. I'm not, I'm not like... I don't know. Over-identifying <laughs> with Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because that was the only thing I was going to say. I get what you mean. I, dear, I agree. But, yeah, definitely you don't want to, like... You, just yeah. identify with oh I'm a comedian like I'm just me you know what I'm saying I right. just I yeah, do yeah, comedy yeah. this is what I do and shit you know what I'm saying yeah totally totally but yeah the people that's exactly how you're able to say that like like that's why I don't you know yeah I have a podcast I can say I have a podcast not like I'm not saying I have a successful I don't have I'm not saying I have a podcast that brings in money but I have a podcast that's a fact yeah you know what I'm saying like yeah. I go and do comedy that's a fact yeah, no one can take fact. that from right. you you know what I'm saying if you, you put write in the your work, own jokes you present your own jokes you know you're you yeah. do everything that makes you a comedian yeah exactly if you put in the work like no one can take mm-hmm. that shit from you and shit and that's what but it all comes from belief if you don't have the belief in yourself that you could do it then you're never gonna go for it and right, shit you exactly. know what I'm saying yeah see and that's what I mean that belief in the sense that you can do it is a little bit of delusion though right because if you I mean, just fucking couple years ago, before I started comedy, like, I would like look at the motherfuckers at the top and be like, "Well, shit, they don't like." I have to start eventually. Mm. Like, and then it takes a little bit of delusion to be like, "Well, it's a huge world out there, and no one has a no one has a sure fact that they're gonna be funny or they're gonna make yeah. it, or they're gonna do anything in this realm." So it's like a little bit of delusion on on everyone's sense that the fact that they think they're going to be the one not like pops off and makes it because that's not everyone's goal i mean that's some people's goal but mm. but just the fact that they're in the same ballpark you know what i mean yeah yeah but I, I feel like it's almost the same word but one is negative and one is positive right it's almost like delusion is the bad one and belief is the good one you know what i'm saying like belief is what you want delusion is it's gonna hurt you delusion yeah you know what i'm saying i think i think there's a little bit of truth to both of those like I think belief is more like a like a like it's a, only like delusion a, if you're wrong if we make it you know what I'm saying or like by creating a podcast then it's an, it wasn't a delusion okay well, you know well, okay, what I'm well, saying here's another example of delusion it's like okay well if I have a set and I I and I bomb <laughs> and I bomb really bad alright hey, no, don't call anyone out crickets yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, crickets the whole way through. Uh And then I get off stage and I'm in a good mood. I'm like, oh, you know, oh, well, you know, fuck it. I bombed, but, you know, I tried new shit. I'll get them next time. Is that delusion or is that belief? That's none of those. That's just eating shit. Well, that's belief that you'll get them next time. But is it delusion delusion that. No, that. because you had self awareness to accept that you were that you ate shit there, oh, but okay. you have belief that you'll do it next time because you're gonna put in the work to come again next time. Okay, it's not really delusion, is it? Delusion would be if you fucking said that you killed. Delusion mm. is only not accepting the realism, right? But is but what is real? okay? Okay, okay, <laughs> but, but is real? okay. Here's here's another scenario. If I bomb. And I get off stage. I'm like, well, you know, at least I had fun. Mm. Is that delusion? No, but why would it be delusion? Because it's it's like a fact. You had fun. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not not real. Yeah. 
I guess you're right. Huh? But like philosophy um, one one. <laughs> dude, we're philosophers. <laughs> Bro, this podcast is so many things it's and like we're getting into philosophy talk. This shit went down the rabbit hole, but this wasn't even a rabbit hole. This was a This was a, a fairy dog animal. hole. <laughs> This is a butthole, bro. <laughs> this is Dude, a, a dark, a dark, gloomy place. A dark hole, a dark, uh, a black hole. That's what I was looking for. A dark oh, black hole. <laughs> Did the video go down? Oh, that's. It's always better when we see fucked up things if the video's not up, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me pause this hoe. All right. Pee break. Pee break. Pee pee break. Water break. <laughs> uh, breakers water park. You ever been there? Oh yeah, dude. Trash. Yeah. Have I heard that. Uh, that white people are are the pretty much the ones keeping water parks alive. Is that true? You think? <laughs> it's a certain type of white people, though. Certain type of white person. It's uh, it's country white people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's up with that, dude? Like, kind of like rednecks a little bit. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Cause, uh, they don't go to your local pool. They, they like water parks, um, or they like flying yeah, through the I air. Don't know, and man. Shit. Water parks are just like disgusting, though. If you really think about it, yeah. I mean, any pool, any public pool, when you think about it, it's pretty fucking gross. Yeah, bro. so gross. But you know, I once I grew up, I stopped peeing in pools because it fucking feels weird on your dick hole. I don't know if you've yeah, because you're opening that shit. Yeah, you think about it, your pee hole is opening. I don't know. There's pressure going out, but does some water go in? You don't know. Who knows, dude? You know what I mean? Rejection muscles? We don't know. Back to episode four or whatever. <laughs> That's a real callback. That's a real callback. Go back and watch it. But, um... Yeah, go back and watch. <laughs> Comment if you watch. Bro, who's got better title episodes than us? Honestly. Honestly, Who's nobody. got better title episodes? Or wait, episode titles. I always say that backwards. Title episodes? Fuck. Episode titles. Yeah, uh, who's got better episode titles Yeah, who's us? got a better... Who's got better... Who's got a better podcast than us? Fucking one, two, three are canceled. Fucking, I, I want to say for Captain Who comes Z, up with that blah, blah, blah. shit? <laughs> yeah, come on, like it's fucking. I would love to meet the motherfucker. We're the Connies of podcasts. We really are. <laughs> We're gonna change it. We're changing the game. Um, yeah, guys. So thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for not giving up. Don't give up. Fucking, we're past the twenty, the twenties and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, this is fucking so, 26. I don't know. Bro, so Kipasa, Kipasa, mi amigo, what happened last last time? You really, I, I feel like, if we're being honest, you know, we gotta address it. Oh, last Epi? Yeah, you really looked bad. Oh, time. man, so I don't know what it was. I, I think I, I was just, with I was just low T. No, I low wasn't, tea, yeah. I wasn't beefing with anyone. I was just low T that day. I don't, I think my sleep is just getting super fucked up because, because I'm, uh huh? You sleeping less? No, I'm just like it's my sleep schedule is so inconsistent because I'll have to get up early for work and then I'll say I'll play night for comedy and then I'll just have a day where like on a day off from work I'll just like so I, like I'll still be on the same I'll still wake up too early like I won't catch up on sleep or whatever and then I supplement it with way too much caffeine the caffeine mm. just crashes me yeah. like I just need like a week of recovery you know yeah you feel behind on sleep and shit kind of yeah dude it sucks but. No rush for the wicked, bitch. Yeah, bro. Fucking sleep's overrated, bro. Fucking. It really is. Also, I think I was a little downy last episode because, uh, honestly, bro, drugs are bad. <laughs> okay, I think I I, I, actually, uh, I don't even remember what. I think I was. Just, I think I drank the day before and it made me depressed. Yeah, because when do we do an episode Tuesday? I think it was last Tuesday. It was the studio right at my casa. Yeah. The alt, the alt studio. <laughs> yeah, the, the alt studio. Uh, fucking. Yeah, I feel that like when you're hungover, or not necessarily hungover, but the day after you drink, you necessarily don't feel the best. Yeah. No, I think I was hungover actually. I don't even. All over. Yeah. But dude, I gotta tell you about this though. So okay, after. Uh, on Thursday. Yeah, on Thursday after laughs, I went and smoked with you and Manny. With Manny's hey, 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 how many dabs did you do? You did like three or that's four dabs? That's a dab? Dabs? Well, that's, that's why I got fucked. That's a dab, bro. That's We're a dab. We're wax concentrate in That's there. a dab? That's a dab, I had bro. no idea. You did like four of them. That's I did? That's green dab for Oh, dude. my God. That's... You're stronger now, bro. <laughs> Whatever you're about to say, it can't be worse than last time. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, <laughs> but, okay, so I was I was high as a kite, 
but I was a good happy high. Oh yeah. You know, like I was because uh, honestly, like it, it's a it's a fifty fifty thing for me. If I when I get high, well, if, I, if I high? start getting in my head, or I start having fun, mm. right? It's a it's a fifty fifty flip of the coin to go either fucking way. <laughs> And it's a slot machine. It's a slot machine. <laughs> seven, seven, seven. Or you get all, all X's. Yeah, and that's when I started getting all fucking all skulls. All fucking scoliosis. Scoliosis. Oh shit, sorry about that. Ah. And then, um. Okay, so you did like what? Three or four deaths? I think I hit it three or four times, yeah. Yeah, yeah something like that. And, and it was kind of hot box. Yeah, totally. And so, okay, then I drive home. I'm listening to a podcast on the way home. And I, I then when I'm listening to a podcast. Yeah, because that's. I did have a good set. Yeah, think. so you you were riding so, high. Yeah, so I was riding high. Yeah. I was flying high. If I had a bad set, I'd probably go down the rabbit hole B, where I'm in my head and fucking fucking kill myself. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening to a good podcast on the way home, vibing. I realize I'm high when I'm driving home and listening to the podcast because I don't normally laugh out loud to shit. Mm. But I'm just in my car. I'm like, <laughs> 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 I'm like that. I'm just like dying at the podcast. Okay. I don't even know what I, what I was listening right to. Right here, Downey. Mm-hmm. Probably. Had to. Uh, I was listening to a future episode that wasn't even released. It was just <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> nice. And awesome. then, um, yeah, so I get home. I think my girlfriend was waiting for me here. No, no, no. I got home before she, because she was at work, I think. Yeah, so I, I get here. I, I yeah, it's dark, obviously, because it's night. Bro, this thing died. Mother, motherfucker. All right. We knew this was going to happen. You gonna pause the video or what? Oh, yeah. God damn it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Fuck. So. <laughs> Another little, technical difficulty. A little difficulty because um this bitch fucking died on us. So we had to restart it. We don't know where we, where we dropped off. So we're going to start again at, you know, I'm going to hit this pin real quick and, and talk about. White drugs are bad. No, drugs drugs are not bad because drugs were good, but then they were bad. Drugs just have okay. caused... So, so yeah, this is what I'll, we're I'll saying. Just, I'll just Start keep, from the beginning. Start from, from the, beginning. the beginning. Because we don't know if we lost it. Okay, okay. You know I'll, I'll do a quick quick recap to where to where I was at. So you're saying... I, d- I did my Thursday. set on Thursday. Uh-huh. Got high with, with the boys after. Uh-huh. Me and Manny. Home. Yeah. Did like four dabs. Yeah. Last and time I'll, you did four dabs, you greened down on the pot. Right. Uh-huh. You guys were there. And... Okay, so fast forward to where we're at. I'm driving home. I get home. Um, I'm sitting on the couch right here. My girlfriend calls me. She's like, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, ha, 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 blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, are you high? And I'm like, how do you know? Um, I hate when they when they say that, honey. You're like, fuck, how'd you fuck. know, bitch? Yeah, do I, do, was, I, was I being all crazy? Like, like, do I sound retarded? Yeah, Why do you like, say I'm, that? Right? When it comes from someone you love, it's like, and like am I not <laughs> acting like myself? Or? I think that we just sound super mellowed out or something. Yeah, anyway, or something. Like, I think I, I think, <coughs> but I was in a super good mood, so I was like giggly. Uh huh. So I think she she noticed how giggly I was, and then um, oh, and then yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she she gets off of work, she comes over here, and then my boy Zach was at this bar and he was getting wasted, and um. Because he's an alcoholic, but we don't need to tell him that. <laughs> um, he doesn't even listen to the pot, so he won't even hear it. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, but um, if he does, that I means it's a sign. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, okay, yeah, so she... So you go to the she, bar? No, happened? she gets off work, and we go to pick... We, Her and I both go to pick up Zach. Mm-hmm. She's driving. I'm passenger princess, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, like just vibing. Stone and giggly. Yeah, stone and giggly. <laughs> but I'm also like... I also just don't want to go out anywhere to go pick him up. And my girlfriend's like, oh, let's go have a drink with him. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to, like, I like, I like, I know where, I know this bar we're going to. It's like, it's going to be too loud. There's going to be too much music. Yeah. There's going to be too many people for me being high. And I'm right. I love where you were at. Yeah. For and I'm running dads, high. I'm, I'm chilling. I don't want to be in, like, a crazy social environment. You know? Mm-hmm. And but you guys are going anyway. You gotta pick up Zach. Gotta pick up Zach. And we get there, we go in, the music's like boom, 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 boom. And then Done. everyone's like blah 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 blah. And I'm like, oh I'm too high for this. <laughs> I had a moment where I'm like, oh like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it was I was still having fun. Like it was like that it was like that type of high. I don't know if everyone gets this or just me where you're just like 
You feel like you're. Oh, I told my girlfriend this. I felt. I was like, babe, I feel like I'm in a video game right now. Like, like we're like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. That's what was so fucking funny. I was like, uh, I feel like I'm in a video game now, and now the mission is go pick up Zach and bring him back home. Like we got to get this mission done. And I, I, I felt like we were like in a video game. Like I was like. I don't. I just felt so. Fu- it was fucking funny. That's funny. Um, and then one of Zach's friends was like dancing with a half-pregnant girl. I don't know if she oh was. My God. Bro, I, okay, dead ass. I don't know if she was pregnant or just had a kid, but she had a a baby bump. Yeah. And uh, it was it was weird. It was it would be weird even if I wasn't high, but I was high and I was just like, oh my God, what the f- <laughs> look at this guy. And she got moves on her. <laughs> I don't know. And then, it would be weird even if she had a baby or if she had just had a baby. Yeah. If she had a baby in her or if she had just right, had a exactly. baby. Either way, it's weird. I don't know. Anyways, I w- it just felt super weird. Um, <laughs> and then we get we get home. Mission's complete. Mission complete. <laughs> Mission complete. <laughs> Mission I, gained, com- I gained more XP. You know, nice. I gained more tokens or whatever. And um, so that was that. And then but the weird part is, so... The day or the night after being high, good times all around. Like, I had a little moment at the bar. We went and picked up my friend where I felt a little too stony. But I was, able to, I was able to keep it together, stick in my video game mode, <laughs> mission completed, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I was, on, I, was in, I was in, like, Sims, you know? It's because like, dabs will give you that, like, when you everything looks, like, far away almost and yeah, bright and shit. Yeah, that's like, like that dabs vision. Too. Yeah. Back vision. I got, remember I told you that me and Manny did dabs before getting, like, on, on the rocks. And uh, we've been getting, like, more high before the mics, usually yeah. after. And I kind of liked it because I was on stage and I realized everyone was blurry. Like, my vision starts to get <laughs> Fuck blurry yeah. when I get too high. Fuck yeah. And I was like, this isn't that bad, honestly. It was yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but, so you were good with that high. I was good with that. Did you get high again? No. The next day. Dude, I don't know what it is, bro. I'm I'm getting weed hangovers. Oh, really? Real bad. From dabs? Down yeah, bro. So, the next day, I wake up. I got I have work the next day, and I don't want to wake up. Um, work goes, like, fine. I, I just get, like, caffeine loaded. Where it goes fine, whatever. Oh, the single to mile was the next day. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then I get off work, and that's when the fucking weed hangover hits me. Once I have a second to like sit down and chill, where like I start just getting in my head about like, oh fuck, I don't want to do anything. I just get super antisocial and like sad and depressed, dude. And it fucking sucks. That you just want to get out of work or what? No, no, no. I was already off work. I was just at home chilling. Oh, for real. And I just like felt like. I don't know what I felt like. I felt like my whole world was collapsing. And that's why I didn't come to the fucking uh, single to mile show, to that, show that you were on. Fucker. And I was like, I texted Anthony. I was like, sorry, my man, I can't make it. I'm feeling kind of weird. I was like, no problem, brother. And then, but um, um, my, f- my, my boy Zach wanted to go out. And so did my <laughs> girlfriend. And so I'm like being dragged along with them, and I'm like depressed. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to look at anyone. You need some some We're time, some alone time and like, shit. Huh? You need some alone time and shit. I just shit. need some alone time. Out. That's what I needed, man. I just needed yeah. to like sit on the couch and just fucking put a finger in my butt because I was gay. depressed. But yeah, um, bro. Shit it was busy. weird as shit. And then I, I just get all like fucking, like I'm so in my head all the time. But then. I it's it was like I was like paying, I was like I took a loan on happiness. You know what I mean? Like I took like I took like the happiness I would have on Cinco de Mayo, like like even like just hanging out with friends or whatever, and I borrowed it and brought it. Like I peaked my serotonin, and then I had to pay for it later. Like I'm like dead ass. That's how you felt. Like That's depleted almost. Like, depleted. So it was like yeah. serotonin. Or yeah, all that happiness shit. Mm. It was just like lacking. And I was like, dude, like, this is why I can't, like, I, I like smoking weed every once in a while, but this is, like, the effect that it has on me. Like, I literally, like, like, rubber banded, you know? Like, I was like, boing, and then I went over here. Yeah, that's does, that sounds exactly like what a hangover is. Yeah, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have all the fun the night before, and the next day you're, like, depleted. But yeah. that's crazy but, you, that but you instead feel of like, that shit, bro. Instead of, like, alcohol, where it's, like, a body sickness where you're like throwing up mm. and you're weak it's and you're mental. like shaking yeah it's more mental where i'm like 
Sorry, I don't want to go out. Bro, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to see anyone. All right, I have a solution for you. Tell me. Talk to me. Talk to me, weed doctor. Look at Dr. Weed. Dr. Omar. When you have a weed hangover, what would you do if you had an alcohol hangover? But you have an alcohol hangover Thursday to Friday, and Friday... It's time to have fun again. It's right. Cinco de Mayo. Right. Your homies got comedy shows. You can pull up a new comedy mm. and get another and serotonin I, boost. Dude, that's what I should have done. Yeah. That's but what wait, I really should have done. But first. But first, doctor. That is also that is also the answer, but that's answer number two. Answer number one is, how would you treat a, a regular hangover? Uh, an if alcohol If you hangover. had to party again on Friday and you just partied on Thursday, on Friday you would party Again, you would just start partying earlier. Yeah. You're saying so, I should have smoked some weed? You need to smoke again, and then you need to go do some fucking comedy and get another serotonin boost. That's what I should have done. Or even even, even if I pulled up and I was like, hey, I just, I'm just here to support. Not yeah, even but do you comedy. Yeah, and just hang out with you and the boys and the com- comedy, go- comedy guys. Yeah, I would have felt bad. I think but so. But instead, bro. I got thrown into another bar environment. <laughs> I was feeling upset already. I was like, I don't want to be out late because I'm tired. I yeah. was like, because I, I probably didn't sleep well the night before, because you know your brain doesn't get REM sleep when you're too high. And man, it was just it was just a fucking sucker sucker ass night. Fuck, bro. No, bro. You gotta. That's what you have to do, bro. And if I know. It was a, if, it if, was I, if I could hangover? Re, if I could redo it, what I would do is I would have gone off work, gone to the gym, had a shitty ass workout because I was de- sleep depleted, mm-hmm. came home, power naps, gone to the comedy show. Yep, that's what I should have done. Yep, yep. yep and yep. also, uh, you know, like, like my uh, my 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 friends, coworkers. Um, wanted to come to the comedy show and I was already like in my head about not going mm. and then like them wanting to come made me not want to go you know what I mean yeah because I, I have because they're like oh because then there was a, like an expectations yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah and I was already in my head mm. about like oh I don't, I don't even know if I want to do comedy or if I'm funny right now mm. dude it was crazy yeah and bro but remember <sighs> what fucking you remember why you gotta outperform people that can't perform right all the that's time the you know what i that's mean that you gotta be able to perform like, it's showing up even when you don't feel like showing up yeah bro and fucking like I, and i've been in instances like that before it's like in high school like when i had football like we had two weeks where we had two a day practices where we had damn a practice where we had to wake up at 5 a.m and get there at 6 a.m and then we'd come back at 4 p.m Fuck. For two weeks straight, five days a week. For two and weeks. For two weeks. Damn. And I'm so fucking proud of myself. I mean, of course, it's fucking high school sports. Like, it's not like a big deal. But like, still, I was, I was like, me. I came for like the two years I was on varsity. I went to all of those like, all of those days. I didn't, I was probably mm. tens all those days, and like. Dude, I showed up even when I didn't want to. So it's like, if I can do that, showing up to football and making my body and fucking whole fucking being tired is not as hard as just showing up at a fucking comedy show. Yeah, bro. Like, physically on my body, it's not as hard. All I got to do is drive there. And also, you know what I'm saying? Like, same thing. It all comes from a belief, bro. Like, yeah. when you're young and shit, that's what you have. You have that belief because you have a little bit of delusion. Yep. Because you don't, you know, you don't give a fuck. So, you're not scared. You don't you don't get stopped by shit. And then as an adult, you kind of start to get more in your head because you start to totally. get influenced yeah. by, by the propaganda that you watched growing up and all this crap. Or just, uh, like, expectations, you know? Yeah, but... Yeah, it's the same theme, bro. It's fucking very true. You're still gonna show up and shit. Yeah, but man, you know what? Like now that you know that happened, what like a week ago or a couple days ago? I don't know. Yeah, like a week ago, almost. Um, I just, I just learned, I just learned a lot of things from it. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, well, if I smoke, if I smoke weed like that and I go that deep, I know I'm gonna kind of set myself up not for failure the next day i just know now what i have to do to not be in a funk the next day Mm. and i know that if i am in a funk i know what i should do to like i know that the places i shouldn't be in that funk in a fucking busy bar 
with fucking drunk people yelling and screaming and you know yeah 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 expectations you know yeah bro fucking you know i think as long as as long as anyone does anything that's uncomfortable and they just take it as a learning experiment learning experience of what not to do or to what to do next time then then you're good you you got something from it but this is what i want to say fucking smoking weed bro will also teach you shit because when you go deep when you go deep on evos you go deep on weed on whatever like that's what you start battling with right there's evil there's good and evil and that shit creeps into your thoughts whenever you have a good thought or you're having a good time guess what evil tries to steal that shit from you so an evil thought comes into your mind and then that's when you have to like same thing go back to the beliefs like then you realize ah this thought is just bullshit i don't really believe that shit yeah you yeah know I'm you like, know what it is? i don't believe that about me i'm just in my head right now because i bombed yeah or you know what it you is know what I mean? it's like um it's like the devil and angel on your shoulder yeah it's bro, like, that shit's it's legit, like bro. it's like a you know like team su- jesus bro team <laughs> jesus holla <laughs> hallelujah um you know like and like uh that superman jitsu you know uh superman there's a uh, bizarro like it's like bizarro. anti-superman Nah. It's like Superman, but if you same powers, but as a bad guy, it's like like everyone struggles with like the 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 pro Tyler and the anti Tyler on mm-hmm. your shoulders, you know, mm-hmm. like probably not Tyler on your shoulders, but you got Omar, you got pro Omar and anti Omar on your shoulders. On shoulder, oh fuck, dude, get that motherfucker <laughs> yeah. out of here! But yeah, like the anti the anti Tyler on your shoulder mm-hmm. or whoever you, you got are. left wing Tyler, yeah, you got <laughs> left wing, you got right wing. <laughs> No, but no, for real. Like the anti, the anti motherfucker on your mm. shoulder is like such a bitch, dude. And you just got to conquer that that little bitch. Voice. Yeah, bro. You got to conquer, and bro. That's why fucking you got to smoke weed, bro. But, because that shit takes you deep and it makes you fight in your head, bro. If you can fucking, if you win inside your head, who's gonna beat you, bro? Right. You know what I'm saying, right? Bro, but is that delusion, bro? People say that smoking weed lowers your testosterone this shit ups my testosterone bro why because i'm telling you bro it makes you stronger mentally bro but testosterone isn't mental bro testosterone bro is a mentality bro (laughs) (laughs) now you're sounding like andrew tate bro it's a mentality dog (laughs) i got got testosterone mentality yeah bro that's what alpha mentality is yeah dog nah fucking fuck that bro watch this i'm gonna get pumpkin Blinker, bro. I'm just playing. I'm not gonna get pumped guy. Yeah, his mom would kill me. I don't even cough, bro. It's just another day in the office. You know what I mean? Here's my thing with weed, though. <laughs> Here's my thing with weed. No, listen. You I would smoke me with alcohol, huh? You would smoke me with alcohol. No, but I don't like. I don't even like drinking. Okay. Good. I Good. had one beer yesterday. And I felt like disgusting with myself. Like I was like, "What the fuck are you doing? Why are you doing this to your body?" Was it a Bud Light? No, it was a IPA. Were you in a gender neutral bathroom? I was in a gender neutral (laughs) bathroom. Um, No, but here's the thing with weed. I'm already such like an in my head person. Mm -hmm. Like I live in my head. Me too, bro. But and then when I smoke weed, I get even most of the time. I get even more in my head. Like a couple, maybe you know, (coughs) maybe one out of four times. I'll have like a good weed high. You know what I mean? Maybe it's a 50 50. I don't know. Maybe I said that earlier. But that's what you got to practice, bro. Every time it's your own head, you got to have a good time in your own head. You know what I'm saying? So every time you get high and you get higher and higher, you practice fighting the evil thoughts with your Jesus Jitsu and you fucking. Jesus Jitsu. You know what I mean? You fucking fight the evil with good. And you fucking win the battle in your head. Yeah. Because it's it's your fucking head, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. It all comes down to belief. When you have an, a bad thought, like, oh, I'm a piece of shit or something, then you're like, oh, wait a second. I don't really believe that. I'm just thinking that because my tea is low because I haven't smoked weed today. I got to smoke weed. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but then I don't want I don't want to become like reliant on, on weed or anything to make me feel good. Like I just want to create like a, a fucking regular space in my head. Where I'm a normal person, I know. I just but also like we're comedians, so we're like we're just fucking naturally insane, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like all comedians are in their head. That's where the jokes happen. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's where the joke com- the joke uh, comedian voice is. You know what I'm saying? It's it, no, in your it really head is. And shit. 
but yeah and then that's why i also like going on stage high because then you go on stage high and you have more thoughts of insecurity and you're like nah fuck that i'm going on stage and i'm gonna fucking do good and shit and then you you're you feel great and mm-hmm. shit afterwards you know what I mean? yeah no so i'm not like if you're high and you go on stage and you have a good set like there's nothing better yeah I feel but if you get high and you go on stage and you have a really <laughs> bad set there's nothing worse <laughs> like it's a fucking gamble <laughs> Yeah, bro. It's bro. a fucking game. But no, I'm just fucking with you about the weed, bro. You gotta believe. It's all about the beliefs, you gotta bro. Believe. You gotta analyze, analyze beliefs, bro. This, this is some psychology aligning yeah, dude, your chakra got, shit. Yeah, right we're here, getting bro. deep on this. This some Jesus Jitsu right here. And is that what the episode name is? <laughs> Jesus Jitsu, be. not bad. Uh, oh, but yeah, bro. Think about it. Even like weed, right? You can be addicted to weed, but why? It all comes down to a belief. I believe that if I don't smoke weed, I'm not going to be myself. Well, it's just a belief. Just destroy that belief in yeah. your head and crumble it. <sighs> right. Just solves all your problems. <laughs> now yeah. I'm just playing, but really, that's a it's a good tip, you know what I'm saying? Pro yeah. tip. <laughs> Pro tip. Honestly, it all comes down honestly, to what I have to start doing is I just having it. no expectations for anything. Because expectations are... Like, they rob you of happiness. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, if uh, if you have, like, an expectation for having, oh, I'm going to have a really good set tonight. Don't have a good set. Or or maybe you do have a good set. Maybe, oh, I have an, I have an expectation tonight to have, to have a 10 out of 10 set. Every punchline is going to hit. I'm going to say every Yeah, but see, that's perfectly. delusion right but then, there. But then you go out and you have... An 8 out of 10 set, which is still a good set. And you're like, ah, fuck. I wish I had a 10 out of 10. But look, here's the key. Look, if you believe, you can have a belief, right? My belief is I'm going to have a, a good set. If I believe I'm going to have a good set or if I believe every point I'm going to have a 10 out of 10, then I am having a belief about the outcome, which is something I cannot control. Right. So I have to make a belief about something I can control. I believe I'm going to try my hardest at the mic yeah, today. Right. So you have to switch the belief into a belief that you that is something you can do. Right. Something you can actually control, not something you can't control, yep. like an outcome. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Worry, worrying about like your 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 effort, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, actually, you're, you know, your shit, you know in, what I'm in football, we had a coach that said you can only control two things in life: attitude and effort. That's fucking true. I'll always bro, remember that. It all comes day. down to football, bro. America, baby. Yeah, America oh, first. Shit, I'm fucking so sorry. It's okay. I keep forgetting this was right, and I keep getting up. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh, I feel bad. I'm he just sorry. wants attention. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking spurred him right in the way. Like he's a horse. Nah, he's okay. You know, Western. Oh, God. But anyways, America. Anyways, how long have we been going? I think we've been going. <sighs> this bad boy says 20 minutes. So like 50? Cool, bro. Maybe 50. What else we got to talk about before we wrap up? We were going to talk. Oh, let me see. Well, we had some shows. I had I had some shows. Uh, some Cinco de... Cinco oh, yeah, yeah. Talk to me. Cinco de Biner shows. Cinco de Bingo. And um, they were pretty good. You know, it was funny. The show that... Uh, I felt like the show I wasn't looking forward to, same expectations. Yep. I felt like I had a better set at. Really? I think I did good at both. But I think that I did better... At the one I thought I was going to do worse in. At the mint? Yeah. <laughs> really? How so? Well, just I thought that I was going to do worse and I did better there than uh, at the other one. Because the other one was pretty big and it was much more fun, like, um, environment. Environment you know? wise. But, um, yeah, it was really big. So, I just didn't feel like... Was there a lot of people at the I lounge? feel like I didn't get as much of a pop as I did at uh, uh, the right. first one. Was there a lot of people at the mint? There was a good amount of people at both. What do you say? What is it? What do you think the numbers were? Uh, the numbers were none because we got scammed. True. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. There was probably maybe around like twenty people in there. At the mint? Yeah. That's what's up. What about the, the lounge? But I don't know if there were. And at the lounge, there's there's probably more than that. 
It was more than that. It was pretty big, though. That's pretty cool. But it was super. Um, so it's so I didn't know it was a place that used to be Club Fourth. Oh really? And um, so it's downtown, but it's really south sidey. Right. Um, it's like way down on Fourth, huh? Yeah, and I guess it's a black owned place. Sick. And um, but the vibe they kept it super Mexican. <laughs> like super I saw the pictures. Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like. And that's actually what I started with. I was like, Dan, this place is Mexican as fuck. Because <laughs> there was, like, disco well, lights was, like, going on. like, mariachi shit? We're, no, no, like, we're, we're fucking, like, night, like Mexican nightclub. Mexican club. nightclub. Like, there was lights going on and shit. And uh, they, I, I think they just kept that vibe a little yeah. bit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, but it was a really fun vibe, that's you know what's what I'm up. saying? They had hookah, they had, like, couches, and people were sitting, like, closer and shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then they had the people in the booths on the sides. That's cool. So it was pretty cool, you know? Everyone had a different angle, and... Different angle. There was just a fun... Uh, fun in, was in the air. <laughs> fun was in the air. Yeah. Beaner was in the air. Yeah, it was pretty chill, man. So... Yeah, Cinco de Beaner shows, and uh, you said you're going to be on a roast battle? Yeah, I'm probably going to be on the roast battle sometime in uh, early June. Next month? Yeah. yeah, yeah nice, yeah. bro. So, yeah, check that out. That's going to be cool. <laughs> the roast. We'll see how it That's is. Funny. I'm you know, excited to be on it. They do a really good job at the um, previews of, what, what, what do you say, the previews? Uh, you know what I'm saying? At yeah. announcing the the roast before, the, uh, and they do the interviews and all yeah, that. So the okay, pre-show yeah, yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, the pre-roast stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's um, it? I don't know. The, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, the pre the pre-show videos, the clips, and stuff. They they're always pretty fun. <laughs> rich does a good job of those. Rich, rich be rich, you know. Rich be rich, but you know what I'm saying. You know yeah, what man. I'm talking about. What else? What else we got? Um, let me see. What's today? Tuesday. Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. It's Wednesday, a Wednesday bro. before the screening room. Oh yeah, are you gonna hit both mics today? Uh, we'll see. Just we'll see. I'm trying to really go over right now my my jokes and see if I can do a new five. Just because you know what I'm saying. Like I did seven at both at both shows. Yeah. You know on Friday. And um, you know what I'm saying. It's it's good. It's good solid material in my opinion. It's it's like the the good safe material and but you want to write a new five i want to experiment with some new stuff you know what i'm saying i just want to come up with some new stuff and yeah. fucking i got a few of them maybe we'll bounce them right now but um but yeah bro fucking i'm thinking also we upload every episode every old episode that we have on the lap or anywhere possible to rumble you think so so ASAP. I don't know anything about Rumble. Yeah, bro. I mean, I already made an account and stuff, so you guys are gonna be able to find us at Rumble, and uh, you'll be able to find us here on YouTube always. Subscribe and like and Spotify and Anchor and stuff, and um, follow me on my Insta Omar Quinn. It's like underscore Omar Quinn or something like that, but I, I'm always putting some fuck shit on there, and uh, and yeah, Tyler. Yeah, that's it. Where you at, T. Wiley? Where am I at? I'm out here located in the in the depths of Earth, man. Located on planet planet Earth. Planet Earth. Um, <laughs> I think I'm at T. Wyler on Instagram. Right. Yep. That's yeah, man. Baby. That's where you'll find us. I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just starting to flap my wings. I'm learning how to fly one of these days, you know. Yeah, but you know, if we have any shows and stuff, you know, we're always posting them on there and stuff and podcast stuff and everything so yeah 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 word to your mother cool you good anything else in there subtract you're gay peace